Good luck, fellas. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> new documents show that former Trump deputy campaign chairman Rick Gates communicated with a former Russian spy before the election who has ties to a Russian intelligence service and had such ties in 2016. And I'm guessing this spy is still on Putin's good side because, as of showtime, no one had served him a nerve gas burrito. <laughs> and his description matches the Russian manager of Paul Manafort's lobbying office in Kiev named Konstantin Kilimnik. <laughs> really? Kilimnik? <laughs> if you're a Russian operative, you might want to go by something less suspicious. <laughs> Maybe try Sergei Murderov. <laughs> so, this is Sergei Murderov. Da. No! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, I, my question is, is it collusion yet? Is this collusion at this point? Gates was Trump's deputy campaign chairman. Uh, who stayed on through the inauguration, knowingly met with a Russian spy in the months leading up to the election. What more evidence do we need? Yeah. Donald Trump in a T-shirt saying, I colluded with the Russians and all I got was this lousy T-shirt <laughs> and the presidency? <laughs> I would like that. I would like that T-shirt. Yeah. I'd like a copy of that. I'll wear that. Yeah, all right. cotton, though. All right. cotton. Right. Gotta breathe.